Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I do want to note that not a single Republican on this committee has mentioned anything other than your position related to your nomination. I, I keep hearing my friends on the other side refer to personal attacks. One thing I can say and be very proud of on this committee from these Republicans, not a single person has talked about anything other than your stated positions as it relates to this nomination. So any suggestions otherwise is simply hogwash. I want to be fair, and I will be fair. I won't be hyperbolic, but I will be frank and, fr and honest. I cannot think of a nominee more poorly suited to be the comptroller of the currency based solely on your public positions, statements, and the weight of your writings than you are. Let me just quote you versus anybody else. On the Green New Deal champion, you proposed taking economic and climate policy making from Congress and creating an unaccountable bureaucracy called the National Investment Authority. In a roundtable this year, this year, you pushed to make the NIA the dedicated institutional platform at the federal level for really being the kind of fighting muscle of the Green New Deal and fighting muscle of, you know, all of these other movements that pursuing environmental justice, social, economic justice, equality, and so on. Your disdain for the financial services industry. In 2019, in a documentary titled, I'll, I'll be kind, Buttholes, A Theory, you said, the financial services industry, in my view, and I don't think I'm alone here, is the quintessential butthole industry. Killing American Energy, in Jane Family Institute seminar in March of this year, you proposed bankrupting the coal and oil and gas industries, saying we want them to go bankrupt if we want to tackle the climate change. That's really hard to misunderstand. On nationalizing banking, last year, i.e. 2020, not 10 years ago, not 20 years ago, just last year, paper you titled The People's Ledger, How to Democratize Money and Finance the Economy. You proposed reforms to, and I quote, effectively end banking as we know it by nationalizing, the quote you had was effectively ending banking as we know it. How? By nationalizing retail banking. As it relates to the end of private banking, your words, no one else's, this year, not five years ago, not 10 years ago, not 20 years ago, this year, you said you proposed to imagine what it would be like if instead of a just a public option for deposit banking, just <laughs> instead of just a public option for deposit banking, this would be actually the full transition. In other words, there would be no more private bank deposit accounts and all of the deposit accounts would be held directly at the Fed. I want to say that one more time because this is what really, among all the other comments, it's quite disturbing. This is not a position that you took years ago. This is something that you spoke to this year. And I quote, imagine what it would be like if, instead of just a public option for deposit banking, this would be actually the full transition. In other words, there would be no more private bank deposit accounts, and all of the deposit accounts will be head held directly at the Fed. I don't have any questions for you because there's nothing you can say today to undo what you've said for years, including this year. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.